In this video, I want to look at some scapulothoracic motions, motions of the scapula and the thorax, and see how those are controlled by the AC joint and SC joint, the acromioclavicular joint and the sternoclavicular joint. So, when you elevate your scapula, that is you do a shoulder shrug to elevate your scapula, what's actually happening is something that looks like this. All right, so here's kind of a normal at rest position and then if you shrug your shoulder it goes up like this. So when it goes up like that, what's actually happening at the sternoclavicular and acromioclavicular joints? Well, at the sternoclavicular joint over here, pretty clear that we have SC joint elevation with a shoulder shrug, SC joint elevation. The acromioclavicular joint, it's a little harder to see, but this is what's happening, okay? So it kind of goes up like that. So what are we going to call that motion at the AC, acromioclavicular joint? Well, we have SC elevation we already said, and then we have this other thing. So let's take the SC elevation out and see what actually happened at the AC, acromioclavicular joint. If we take away that SC elevation, we're going to end up with something like this. And then you can see that from our resting position, our AC joint has actually downwardly rotated. So, a shoulder shrug or scapular elevation consists of SC joint elevation oopsies, and AC joint downward rotation. If we were to look at a motion like protraction, so here we have my scapula on the back, clavicles on the front, okay? And if I were to protract my shoulders, we would have something that goes like this, all right? And so at the SC joint with protraction, we have a fairly clear protraction of the SC joint or sternoclavicular joint. It goes like that, all right? So protraction of the ST joint, that is the scapulothoracic joint, consists partly of SC, sternoclavicular protraction. But there's another part here at the AC joint as well. At the AC joint, when we protract the scapula, kind of bring it around forward like that, we have this motion here. All right? That motion there, we would call internal rotation of the AC joint. Okay, or internal rotation of the scapula on the clavicle. So, scapular protraction consists of SC joint protraction and AC joint internal rotation. You can do the same thing for other movements of the scapula on the thorax, kind of figure out what's happening at the AC and SC joints, but those are two examples.